Alright, so first we're going to start off with a base coat. This is OPI Natural Nail Base Coat. It's not my favorite, but it's the only one that I have right now, so we're going to start off with that. Don't forget to put your little toe separators. Mine are kind of dirty, but they're Hello Kitty. Make sure you put those because your nails are going to take a while to dry. Okay, so no making fun of my toes. I already know how they look. And yes, the camera may be a little bit shaky because it's in between my legs right now. Once we put our base coat, then we're going to go into our first color, which is going to be... China Glaze is Flip Flop Fantasy. It's just like a hot, I don't know, neon pink coral color. And we're going to put one coat, or actually two coats of that, about two thirds up the entire nail. But see, as you can see, I'm just kind of doing, I mean, that's not even really two-thirds. That's like three-fourths of the nail. But paint a majority of the bottom of it. That's going to be, uh, this Flip Flop Fantasy is going to be your base color. And I'm just going to do that to all my toes and then come back. Okay, so that's pretty much what you want it to look like. It doesn't have to be perfect because, for one, this polish is matte, which never works out right. It never completely opaques itself and then on top of that you're going to put many of layers on top of the actual polish so it does not have to be perfect but the next color we're going to go in with is going to be sinful colors and this one is in the color dream on and probably because of the lighting you can't tell what kind of color it is but it's actually like a neon let me see if I can get it it's like a neon purple. I don't know if it's showing up too well on camera, but in pictures it'll show up a little bit better. So we're just going to take that polish and then we're going to put that on the top half of the nail. Once you have those two colors, that's going to look something like this. And keep in mind, I don't really have a pinky toe. Like, it's so tiny that I kind of just have to slop the colors on there to make it look like it fits in when it really doesn't. So, um, right now, after you've done these two colors, which, again, like I said in the beginning of the video, you can do any colors that you like. I'm going to be adding my third color, which is... Um, see if you can see it here Sally Hansen insta dry in the color brisk blue and again the lighting is probably a little too dark it won't show up the actual neon blue that it that it really is but hopefully here on the nail it'll show up love these um, nail polishes because the applicator is awesome I've actually loved this nail polish for quite some time super awesome it's like a flat kind of like the um, OPI ones but now what we're gonna do is take some of that and then just take your nail keep it steady and you're going to just kind of blot this right in the middle of those two polishes just like that so you definitely don't want that to be perfect you want to kind of just blot it along like that so you can have three distinct colors the whole point of this is color blocking and you want to be able to see those three colors hiding through the glitter and the zebra nail polish part of it Alright, so that's going to be the finished color blocking product. If you accidentally went too much over with the blue like I did on this toe, just go back in with the nail polish and kind of correct it. Again, pinky toes kind of twerk over there, so I just kind of slopped the blue on there as best I could. But you definitely could just put a top coat and leave it like this if you'd like. I'm going to take it a couple steps further and add a glitter top coat on um, right on top of this, which I'm going to be using uh, China Glaze in Fairy Dust. This is just like a very fine milled rainbow glitter. If it would focus here. Yeah, there you go. Fine, fine milled rainbow glitter. I'm going to put that right on top of all of these colors. Alright, so as you can see, it just kind of gives it an extra little shine and sparkle. And again, I just feel like it really ties the look together. But, I mean, you know, that's all personal opinion. You don't really have to have it. Again, you could have just left it like that. You can leave it like this. You don't need to put tiger or zebra or whatever kind of stripes on it you want. But I'm going to, and the polish that I'm going to be using for that is the um, Art Deco. And this is just in the color black. This is the type of brush that actually has like a little stripe uh, striper on it. 
Um, so what we're going to do is just hold your toe as best you can. Start at one side and kind of just make a little squiggle going in toward the center. And then you're going to do the same thing for the other side. Just start and make a little squiggle. I mean, really, again, does not have to be perfect. You're just kind of... So as you can see there, I mean, it's not perfect, you know, zebra stripes or anything, but from afar, it definitely looks like it. So again, this is just the color blocking with the glitter. This is with the zebra stripes, and then I'm going to put a top coat. All right, so that's what the finished product is going to look like. I'm just going to add a top coat, which for the top coat, I'm going to be using the Sally Hansen Mega Shine. And this is just really good because it works well with wet nail polishes and it also gives a really extra special shine to the um, finished product. I smeared it just a tad on my big toe. Um, you know, it's cool. I just went back and put a little bit more of the black. Now I'm going to put some OPI drip dry drops on top of it. This is just going to help it dry a little bit quicker. Alright guys, so that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was pretty tedious with all the different colors and stuff, but I definitely think this is going to be a bright, fun summer tutorial, nail tutorial that you guys can do that's pretty easy to follow that you'll definitely get lots of compliments on. And don't forget, if you recreate this look, send me a picture on Facebook or tweet me a picture on my Twitter. Both links will be down below. Along with everything that I use, pictures will, will come before the tutorial and after the tutorial. There'll be plenty of things, but if you do happen to have any questions, don't forget to check the bottom bar or leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to respond. ASAP. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this once again. Hope you're having a great spring slash summer and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!